Yo, what's up guys, it's Slayer, and I'm here to show you guys how to start your own pocket, I mean, your own power dedicated server. So first, what you want to do is uh, obviously open Steam and uh, own power, because why are you making a server for a game you don't have? So anyways, once you have power, make sure you have ran it at least once, and then go to library and go to tools, and make sure uh, this is unselected so you can see your uninstalled tools, obviously. And you want to look for the power dedicated server download it once this is installed in your computer uh, you want to launch and always do play power dedicated server launch it and the steam cmd is going to open up this is all it's going to stay that's fine now, now you can just exit that and then it'll, it'll stop now you want to go to the folder uh which you can do manage browser local files and the first thing we want to do in here is go to default power settings from the third line which is right here where it starts with script you want to select and copy everything under it now we copy that and now in this same folder you go you want to go into pow save config windows server and then you want to find the pow server here uh the like uh server settings so here it is power World settings open that up this is going to have nothing in here you're just so the first line you're just going to paste that same exact thing and save it so now this this is the actual settings that the server is going to look at and run based on so obviously you can look through this this is a bunch of settings but the most important ones that you need to know are you know server name description the admin password server password which is kind of buggy and not really working so i feel like you should just avoid that anyways since you're not making a community server uh and public ip so what do you want to do here? You can just put in whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. That's for life. Sure. Server description. Get back to work is appropriate in this, in this scenario. Uh, admin password is what is going to allow you to run commands. Pretty important commands too, like saving the server and stopping it. Server password, you should just avoid that. And then public port, leave that default. 8211 is fine. Public IP. Now this is where you're going to get your PCs, your computer's IP address and put it in here. For public IP, you're going to open your start menu and uh, down in your start menu, you're going to type in CMD to open your command prompt. And then here, just type IP config. All right. And IPv4 address, this, this is the address of your local device or your local computer. Uh, so you, you want to copy that and paste that into the public IP and then that and then that's it make sure you save this and you close it there's other settings that you can mess with but those are you know the most important all right so I almost forgot to add this before you can actually uh, run the server and play with your friends or at least have the ability for your friends to connect to your server from a non-local connection or you know internet um, you need to port forward uh, the 8211 port which is the port that power world runs on in order for your friends to connect to and in order to do that you have to go into your router settings um which everyone's different you know for every router is different every uh ip provider is different you know all the, all the internet providers and whatnot uh, they're all different i have Verizon. uh usually you can just uh go to a command prompt and do the IP config again usually this right here the default gateway will take you to your routers login all right so here we're in the browser uh, and then you just put that in your search bar uh, so wherever this takes you you figure out how to log in you know whatever device it is it should probably have the password behind it or whatever you log in uh, and then you try to look at your uh, port forwarding for me it's a little bit more complicated because I have the Verizon router then I have a device which is this the, the TP link and then that connects to my computer so I actually have to pull forward this device on the, on the 8 to 11 port on the Verizon router and then I have to go to this device and pull forward my computer so both both my computer's IP on this on this device had to be pulled forwarded and then this device's IP address had to be pulled forwarded on the actual router but for most people, if you just have a direct connection, wired or wireless to your to your main router, then it's just one, it's just one step where you just go into that router and you pull forward it straight to the IP address of your specific computer. And once you do that, uh, you should be all set. Play power dedicated server. If you want, you can just always set this to use this option. Uh, the, this will come up uh, and then that's it. 
That, that's literally it. You can minimize it. Just don't close this. If this is closed, then the server won't run. Like, this is literally, like, the server running. All right, now that we're in Power World, uh, you want to join multiplayer game. And then down here, you want to put, you want to get your public IP address, which you can easily do by uh, going on any Internet Explorer and you just write, what's my IP? Uh, and you just press this first thing. And I'm obviously going to black, black it, block it out here because I don't want uh, other people knowing my IP. This is something private you should only share with your, uh, people you trust and with your friends. Uh, but right here, this IPv4, the public IP, that's the IP that you're going to be giving to your friends. So you copy that. All right, I have it copied. You go down here and you're going to paste it. Again, so I'm obviously going to block it. And then you're going to put the semicolon and the port you just opened, 8211. This part should be always the same, unless you decide to open a different port, which then it will be whatever port you port, you uh, port forwarded. Once you do this, you connect, and this is the server. I don't need to actually be on for my friends to join. As long as the server, my computer is on with the server running, the, my game does not need to be running. Oh, one, la one last thing that I forgot to mention. Once you're in game, you want to make sure that you add yourself as an admin. Type here and do a command slash admin password. Let me try big pal. Uh, so now I'm an admin. And now that gives me uh, authority to do all the admin commands and stuff. If you found this video helpful, uh, please consider liking and subscribing. This is my first time making a guided video like this, and I'm definitely open to... Uh, making more for other stuff or other games and stuff like that uh, if I find that it's actually helping people and it's helpful to people because I want to be helpful but yeah I appreciate you guys God bless you and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day week life so so on so forth yes peace out